Hi, it's Jess here from nigesa.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So it's the 1st of November, and so that means it's a Stamp Around UK video hop. So um, there will be links down below with everybody's um, video that you can just click on. I'll have a you are here next to me so that you know where you are in the list. And today's theme is geometric. Um, so I thought, oh, let's do a project using scraps. So this is the Ornate Garden DSP. So I got lots of little scraps with it. So I thought we'd have a play with some sort of geometric shapes. So I pulled out these two uh, punches here. I mean, in the description, it sort of said pink rectangles, circles, squares, but I've gone for other shapes. For me, it's just shapes with straight lines, really. Um, circles probably would work. But so I just um, thought I did start a little bit of um, slicing up little strips. So I thought I might do a couple of, of designs. So um, with these strips, I kind of, um, it's a it's a thing that uh, lots of people have done. I think um, it was Bruno Bacucci who sort of first did something with these little strips. So I'm using my little guillotine here and just sort of cut in sort of did it so it was thicker at one end and thinner sort of at the other and you end up with these sort of shapes here and um, I thought I'd have a go at them and I could turn one over and one over that way and just sort of stick them together so they're sort of ready prepared and then something else that I've Thought of doing and I've kind of done one before is with this punch and I've had an idea in my head for this punch so this punch is good for these thinner bits so I'm just gonna punch out a few of these shapes because I I figured they would join together I once did a swap and I had to cut out this shape um, in each of the swaps and um, let's have a, an odd one and so I had a load of these and I always meant to do something with it and um, I never actually got round to it so uh, so I never I never did make and then the paper retired so um, that was that now this has been I must have made a box of some sort but I reckon I could still use these scraps because stuck on a card you'd probably never notice there's a bit of a crease there one would hope so i'm going to carry on doing that we are limited to time on this so um i'll do some more of those and then i'm going to use this because these interlock nicely together as well to make some nice geometric patterns and um, I thought that would be quite good as well. I think I can fit, oh, I'll fit that in that way, can't I? Yeah, and the nice thing about our DSP is with it being double-sided, um, some could be one way, some could be the other. And this has got a little bit of bling in it as well which might be quite nice so I'll get all those sort of cut out and then we'll have a play with arranging them So I've got three bits of old olive here, that's just quarter sheets of A4, and then I'm just going to lay uh, these strips. So they're longer at one side and shorter on the other, so I'm sort of alternating. So between having a short end and a, and a long end at each end, and then just playing with the colours and flipping them over if necessary until I get kind of a nice sort of pattern going across, leaving a gap in between each strip. 
Uh, these sort of elongated hexagons, they make quite a nice sort of honeycomb pattern, sort of. Um, and I quite like that. So, and I quite like that I've got sort of bits of bling. And as they're going to come off the, um, the sheet, then they will be trimmed. And um, at the ends, you don't need full full bits. So um, I'm sort of looking around at my scraps and punching um, other little sort of small bits that might uh, fit in those those gaps that um, I don't need a full one of. And there I am. I'm going to be using the stitch rectangles to cut it out. So I don't need the whole of the edges sort of covered, but I'm still going to just cut a few little tiny bits to sort of fill it. So I don't quite know where until I sort of it stuck down where I might put the rectangle to, to, to know. So this is like the fun bit, the playing, the, the seeing what, what works um, the best um, to give a nice sort of array of colour um, on, on it. So I've just got the last bit there to, to, to finish off. And so this is a really good use of tiny scraps because you don't need much to fill it. And then this last one, we just sort of lay lay them down so that there's a little bit of a gap from that sort of right hand side, and then you fit the next pointy bit in where there is a the 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 gap. So they're they're not on top of each other. There is a slight sort of almost brick wall sort of effect. Well, not quite. It's like crazy paving. Not crazy paving, but it is like um, it is ordered. It is a, a geometric design. That, that you're creating with all these little strips and sort of making sure there's the odd little flash of bling um, in them. And then all I've left now to do that I've got them all laid out there is just a simple matter of um, sticking them down. And I'm using Tombow. That does give you a little bit of uh, wiggle, which I think is important in this is to make sure that you've got um, sort of nice gaps in between. So there's the three bases there all already. Um, so I've cut some card bases. So I'm going to do two in Old Olive and one in um, Terracotta Tile. And... I'm going to make, I'm going to use the um, stitch rectangle. So I'm going to cut these using the second largest, like so. And then with some Whisper White, I'm going to cut a white frame. So I've just cut myself quarter size of um, a sheet and I can cut my frame out of that. And then this bit, I'll put on the inside for, for writing on. I always put a mat on the inside and so waste not, won't not, we'll do that. And I've cut these down to five and a half. So this is UK A4, so it's eight and a quarter that way. And I've cut it down to five and a half so that it mats better with these. So I'm going to get those cut out and then we'll, um, then we'll do the, the sentiments. Okay, so that is them all cut out. So, cut them out like so. And after cutting the first one out, like so, the others I cut out carefully to get a frame. Um, and then using this embossing folder, I've embossed the bit that I cut out to make these frames. So I can get a couple more cards out of that and use these um, scraps. So I may not do that right now. And then I decided to cut the, the bigger rectangle for the for the middle in the end as I was as I was cutting. I thought well we'll we'll just cut some more. So uh, we're gonna have Things like that, and then we need some sentiments. So I've mounted some sentiments. I'm going to use here. We've got many mates, and I'm going to do a get well card. And I'm just thinking of you because um, 
I need to get well card and uh, just thinking of you is uh, quite nice for this just any time really and then I've done I've already had this in my stash already done a thank you from this so that's just going to go on there so that'll be that we'll call that done um so for these I've got some old olive and I'm going to just stamp on a scrap here this is brand new ink pad actually I've just got a few left I've got about half a dozen left of the old style so when I put my last order in I decided to get a new old olive it needed re-inking and uh, I thought oh, I'll just get a new one I thought that was a as I wanted to do it anyway I thought it was a the good opportunity that is so much nicer now. It's been needed re for a while, so that's lovely to see that. And I'm going to use this punch here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch it out. So we get slightly smaller. This is easy if you do it with holding on to a little bit of an arm. Could have done that one better. Might do it again. So Pulling that down so that it's centred. Feed it back in. Get the same amount going up each side. That's better, like so. And then out of a, a scrap, we'll cut another one of these. And then that sits in there quite nicely. I just think that would look cute. This one, oh, I might get away with it. might get away with it if I just take a bit of this, put a bit of sticky, so still got snail for this purpose, and what I want to do is it's not quite long enough <gasps> right so I think I might have sorted it I'm a happy with that slightly on the wonk. Not really. Gonna do it again. Gonna do it again. Give myself enough room. I was too close to the top end. I think that was my problem. Come over this side a little bit. 
center it. And then should just be able to fade that, fade that down, fade it up. There we go. And then there's two straight edges, even. Keep moving. <laughs> come on, Jess, come on, concentrate. There we go. That's better. I think that's better. You're probably thinking it's exactly the same, Jez. It's exactly the same. What are you talking about? But I think it's better. And I thought it would look quite cool, but to have the shape going that way over an intersection. So I'm going the other way, mm, or maybe not. Let me just, might, I could put that one on there. Maybe I'll just go the same way, but have it going across there. Yeah, maybe I prefer that. So we'll have this one on here. Yep, super duper. Right, I'm gonna get those stuck down. Right, I stopped because I remembered I was going to add some ribbon. So this um, suite comes with uh, some, this comes in a double, a double pack of the terracotta tile and the old olive. And I thought, actually, I want to put a bit of ribbon around. So, um, so I need to do that before I stick it down. Really? So I need to decide where this is going, so that's going there. Then this ribbon needs to go across there. Okay, so give that a snip. And then we'll just Put some sticky either side. There. Going across that sort of centre there, down that side. that straight straight enough for me so that's fine so we need a little uh, glue dot underneath to hold it in place So that can now be glued down. So line that up straight. And then this is Tombow. I just have it in this little glue pot. Makes it easier for doing these fiddly bits. Mm. 
There we go. And then that can go around. I just find it easier and less likely to warp the frame if we stick the centre down first and then put this down on the top. Not sure did I put enough glue there? Oh, I did. Right, and then that's going to get popped up on dimensionals. Put one in the middle, because I can. Don't know how I'm doing for time. I will be speeding bits up, so hopefully will be all right. And then I stick that in that centre bit there. Like so. And I may or may not put a bow on. So I'm going to do all the others in exactly the same way. my three cars I had a little bit of um, faffing with the bows that one I just didn't want it to go over the the sentiment so there we have it are my three geometric cards and I've got these scraps for making another one but that'll have to be another video okay so do go and have a little check out of everybody else's they're all linked down below and um, go and share some some crafty love give them likes uh, give them comments give them the thumbs up that's the same as likes isn't it <laughs> and um yeah and we'll be back next month with another uh stamp stamp around the uk and um i'll be back with another tutorial on my usual days of sunday tuesday wednesday friday <laughs> okay see you again soon bye, -bye.